Captain Mark Johnson, the maintenance guy from FloridaKeysFunFishing.com. I'm here with the Salt Strong guys watching me get dirty. And what we're going to do this episode, we're going to pull this prop off. We got a spun hub. We're going to pop this old hub out and put a new hub in. And we want to just let our viewers know that it's not as hard as one would think. And what causes a hub to spin and how to replace it is something that every boat owner should know how to do because it saves you money and headache in the long run. Okay, here we go. Well, first, we get this prop off of here. Okay, make sure we don't lose pieces. The hardest part sometimes, screwdriver, I'm just popping this old hub out. So the hubs in a prop are a hardened plastic and they're designed to come loose if you hit something and spin and break versus breaking your gear case. Did not pop out there yet. There we go. So here, this has got a thousand hours on it. And if you look close, you can see all kinds of hairline cracks in there and an awful lot of wear and tear. So this boat runs a lot and we check these constantly. And these hubs, they get wear and tear, they get hot from sometimes being trimmed up a lot, whatnot. But you can see in there the wear and tear that that has. So this is reason to change it. So if you spin your hub, okay, all of a sudden your motor RPMs are gonna rev up really high and your prop's not spinning, and therefore your boat's not moving. So it's very common, and it is a safety precaution, because if you're gonna break something, you'd rather break this little piece of plastic than break anything that's involved in this part of your lower unit. Maybe just explain what you're doing, like what that top piece is. Yeah, so this is part of your hub assembly, all right, and that's gonna go back in your rubber part of your hub, which is going to go inside your prop, and this is what you can see is designed to go on your shaft. And that's what makes all of this spin. So when you hit something, you can see this will break itself loose in here. And that again is a safety mechanism there to keep from damaging gear case. Okay? Cool. Makes sense. It's a common mistake that happens with hubs is sometimes people put them in backwards or sometimes they'll put that spline piece in before it goes in the prop and therefore it won't line up right on your prop shaft. So we're going to get this in here first, get this back on here, thrust washer and all. Okay, and we're going to see if we can line this all up again. It was much easier like that. And we're gonna tap that again and see if we can make that fit. Ah, okay. So tapping this piece back in here, your line up spline, you can use this old hub, hit it up there on top of that, and a bit of tap, get it in nice and tight there. All right. Lock washer, lock nut, okay, it's going to go this way. Did we talk about that 2x4 too? Yeah, so the 2x4, as you see how I put that in here, bottom of your trim plane and in between your prop, okay? The wood's soft enough to not damage anything but hard enough to let you put all the pressure you need to tighten that up, keeping your hands and stuff away from the, this prop. The last thing you want to do is have so much torque pressure with hands on props and ratchets and trim pieces and zincs, sometimes your knuckles will bleed. So the wood, a little bit of luck, keeps that from happening. Okay, and there, she's ready to go. 
So this is Captain Mark Johnson from Florida Keys Fun Fishing, also known as the Maintenance Man, with the guys from Salt Strong. If anybody has any questions on how we change a hub, why we grease the shaft, or how to check for braid, don't be afraid to look for us. Again, Salt Strong or FloridaKeysFunFishing.com. Are you sick and tired of not catching as many inshore saltwater fish as you want to? Do you wish that you could catch as many redfish, speckled trout, snook, and flounder as you deserve based on how much time and money you've invested into fishing? Let's get honest for a second. You're clearly not where you thought you'd be by now, or you wouldn't be watching fishing tutorials this very moment, right? Listen, if you're ready for a better solution to catching fish on every single trip and having an upper hand on the fish and your fishing buddies, then go check out www.smartfishingspots.com. You'll receive thousands of proven inshore fishing spots, regional fishing reports, and even massive discounts on all of your favorite fishing brands. See you over at smartfishingspots.com right now.